Sean from Sugarland wants some contractor advice. Well, his mom bought an old A-frame in the country near Linden, Texas. Probably don't know where that is. No, but it's okay. Well, Texas Sean's, is Texas. Sean's going to Rand McNally this for us. He says, Sean writes, it's 50 miles from Longview and 40 miles from Texarkana. So okay. pretty much plumb in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I know, kind of know where it is. <laughs> okay. yeah. It needs siding, termite damage repairs, and rebuilding of a balcony over the front door with a second floor access. And she tried some local folks who either scammed her, in his opinion, or did a horrible job. So Tom Sean wants to know how can he find somebody up there who's trustworthy? What would be the process? I don't know if there's a process to find it. You're going to have to start digging around up there. And I don't mean literally digging, by the way. And the best thing... <laughs> going to dig up a contractor. <laughs> the best thing to do in those little towns all over Texas or anywhere else is talk to the local people and find out who has good experience with the local people up there. There's no there's no licensing here. There's no Angie's List for all these little towns. There's no uh, certified home show pro that I know that works up there, for that matter, that we, we recommend here. I'm darn sure of that. So you're, I'd go to the local lumber yards, places where you have building materials that are being sold, and I talk to the guys behind the counters because they love the good contractors because they're going to sell them the materials to fix your house. And that way you have a, a little team working together. So that's where I would start. All right. And as far as things you want to ask the contractor? Well, first, find one that's got a good uh, uh, reputation. Depending on the scope of the job, you certainly want to make sure he has liability, or she for that matter, liability insurance, a little place of business where they have an office, a telephone. Uh, they have probably working with the local banks, find out who their banker is, call them, see how long they've been with the bank. Do they have a business account? Not a guy in a pickup that you're going to be paying cash to do work. That's not what you <laughs> want to do. As a matter of fact, that would be the first indication you've chosen the wrong yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd start at the lumberyard to get names, and I'd start interviewing people. Sure. And, you know, that's a good way to start out by knowing that they pay their bills. Absolutely. They speak well of the guy. Yeah. All right. So it sounds like a lot of work. But it's, it is, but in it's those, less work than dealing with a scammer. Yeah, and in, in little towns like that, once you find someone good, treat them well because you're going to want to use them over and over again. And those guys, that's how they make their living. They don't go to drive all the way out to Dallas to do a job in one day and come back. They want to work in their local community. There you go. Hope that helps you out. You got a question, send it to us at homeshowradio.com. Use that Ask Tom form. You'll find it on our homepage. There's a little button for it. And we'll answer it just like these videos over here. Ding!